more to marketing. Welcome to Modern Marketing, a podcast on marketing, product, and everything in between. I'm your host, Susan, and today we're going to be talking about a good old faithful, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This is that triangle where at the very top is where self-actualization needs occurs if you've done everything right. It's one of those basics like SWOT, which is great to understand because it really does bring you back down to that basics of what could help you create and deliver the right marketing mix and product mix for your customer needs and also help your business as well. But what is this? So Abraham Maslow created the hierarchy of needs and the marketers adapted it. The traditional um, hierarchy of needs was actually um, back in the 1970s, if you'd believe it, and very much focused on psychological. Its outcome is an, pretty much the essential elements a business should focus on to success, to have success in today's world, particularly if you've got a customer-centric landscape. The psychological theory categorizes human behavior needs in this hierarchy with the most basic and primal ones at the very bottom. And then the higher up you go, that's where I was talking about. You've got the self-actualization at the top. In the context of marketing, though, it's all about the adaptions to this concept to prioritize for businesses and brands to be successful to achieve, to achieve that success that they're after. And to understand where your product belongs, and that could help you in how you position yourself to and all those P's that we've talked about previously. But let's delve in and go what all these different levels in this triangle. So like I said, the very bottom one is pretty much going to be your psychological needs, your basic needs, also known as your functional needs. And at the base of this triangle the mar- of the marketing hierarchy um, it's all those basic things that a product or service must fulfill to be consider- considered even viable for the market it is in. This includes um, things like the features, the quality, performance, and reliability, making sure that the customer expects a product to work as it's promised and meet their basic needs. So examples here include literally just food and transport. Those really basic ones to be able to help with your hunger, thirst, and also your transportation. So consumers need food for sustenance. They need to make sure it has essential nutrition and satisfies their hunger, like a loaf of bread. And when it comes to transport, car. When you're buying a car, the consumer is usually told that the car is going to be reliable, safe, and fuel efficient. A basic reliable car that gets you from point A to point B to fulfill their functional transport needs. And like I said, functional is all about that basics. So that's your bottom level. The next step up is your safety needs. So the safety needs here is all about security protection. This function needs to be able to meet a customer's need for assurance and safety in the purchase of their in their purchase decision making. This includes elements like your warranty, your customer service, your after sales service, anything that falls into those kind of categories. Businesses must establish that trust and provide security for their customers. So here you could think about some examples of the home security systems or even insurance products. Customers invest in home security systems to ensure safety and protect their loved ones and their property. Insurance is similar. Insurance products like your life insurance, health insurance, or car insurance, they provide a financial security and a peace of mind in case of an unexpected event. So very important for that safety need. So once this needs been met, the next one up is social needs. So social is all about that sense of belonging, sense of love, a sense of making sure that person feels connected. This need relates to how a product or brand fits the customer's social context. Customers often seek products or brands that reflect their values, aspirations, and lifestyle. Effective branding and messaging can address these social needs. Examples here is you've got your social platforms and coffee shops. So social platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter fulfill a customer's social needs by allowing them to connect, share experiences, and stay in touch with people, family, and friends. Coffee shops like, say, Starbucks or uh, the coffee shop, wherever you may go, offer just not coffee but 
also a social space for people to meet, potentially work, relax together, and catering to that customer's social interaction needs. Now, the next level up, level four going up the way, is the esteem needs. This goes beyond social needs. Customers seek recognition and self-esteem through their purchases. Now, brands can really fulfill these needs by making customers feel valued and appreciated. Loyalty programs, personalized experiences, and recognition can enhance a customer's self-esteem. Naturally, we go here to luxury brands. And some other different ways we can achieve this is through career coaching services. So high-end fashion brands like your Gucci's and Louis Vuitton's cater to customers' desire for status and self-esteem. Owning a luxury item can boost one's self-esteem and social standing. Now, with career coaching services, that offers career development and coaching can help individuals improve their skills and advance their careers, meeting their esteem needed by boosting their self-confidence and professional success. And lastly, that very top one, number five, the very apex of this triangle, self-actualization needs. This is all about self-development and realisation. The level is about helping customers fulfil their potential and achieving the personal growth. It involves offering products or services that provide unique and meaningful experiences that go beyond the functional and emotional aspects. Brands can connect with customers on a deeper, more personal level by addressing these needs. Examples, so education and definitely adventure travel here. Universities and online platforms offer courses and programs that empower individuals to achieve their full, fullest potential, fulfilling their self-actualization needs. Me, myself, I've done this. I did my MBA online. Companies specializing in adventure travel experiences like hiking expeditions and wildlife safaris cater to customers seeking personal growth, self-discovery, and that unique experience that they can share with all their friends and have forever. Now, they're the five that are within the pyramid as we know it today and how marketers have adapted it. So psychological needs, safety needs, social needs, esteem needs, and self-actualization needs. But there is one that's starting to emerge that may need to be added in the future, and that's called transformational needs. Some adaptions have added this already, and it involves customers transforming their lives or achieving significant personal or socialized goals through the use of products or services. This level is usually associated with brands having a very strong mission or purpose. But to summarize, the hierarchy of needs has not only just stood the test of time, it's still compelling in the application of even today's modern marketing and product worlds. Because guess what? Everyone still has needs. And this offers a structured framework for businesses and brands to really understand and prioritize the evolution, evolutionary needs of their customers in today's digital and customer-centric landscapes. From fulfilling the basic needs to fostering self-actualization and even this newer one, transformational experiences, demonstrates how businesses can build lasting connections and create meaningful impacts on their customers' lives. As we navigate this ever-changing marketing landscape, the marketing hierarchy of needs continues to be a valuable compass guiding businesses towards success by meeting the diverse and evolving needs of their customers. Thank you for listening to this podcast on water marketing. Don't forget to follow to hear the next one. More to marketing. <laughs>